Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you were having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Lisa Tiebrink. So happy to have you here. I upload two times a week. I upload on Wednesdays for Wicked Wednesdays, which has anything to do with paranormal, spooky, or even some crime cases. And then I do like a Freeform Freedom Friday, where I pretty much do anything, including what I'm doing today, which is a food review. Actually, it's more of like a comparison of two items. So I hope that you guys subscribe and join the family and let's have some fun today. Um, so today I am going to do a tasting of two different soft pretzels. I am a huge soft pretzel fan. I love them, but I am horrific at making them myself. For whatever reason, I follow the recipe, I go through the steps like it tells me to, and they all turn out pretty awful. <laughs> so I'm not above going to the store and buying some frozen pretzels in the freezer section of your local grocery store and trying them out. Of course, there's a lot of options. I didn't go through anything today that is filled with anything in the middle or like a pretzel dog or a, anything like that. We just have our plain original pretzels with butter and salt. So we didn't do anything, we meaning me, didn't do anything that um, is like a, a flavoring outside of just your basic pretzel. Um, there are different pretzels out there and they might be awesome. They may not be, but I'm going to pick these two today. Pick pick on them, try them. Um, so I got Auntie Anne's frozen pretzels and then I got um, Meyer's store brand pretzels, which if you don't know what Meyer is, it's just a grocery store um, like Kroger, any Hy-Vee, places like that. Um, Costco in other countries. Um, so just to, before we go into the taste testing, we're going to do some facts. So Auntie N's, Auntie N's, Auntie, Auntie M, Auntie M, Auntie N's classic soft pretzels come in a box of 13.4 ounces and includes both salt and individualized butter packets for each pretzel. Pretty nice. Um, there are five pretzels in a box, and it is four dollars and nine or four dollars and fifty nine cents per box, and that's not on sale or having in, any sort of coupon. So, just kind of doing a little math there, it is point three five cents per ounce for these pretzels. Um, the Meyer Store brand is Meyer Store brand soft pretzels. Again, same as the anti. Anne's, not Aunt TM, as much as I want to say that. Um, it is a 13 ounce box, which actually includes six pretzels and has salt but no butter. And that price is $2.99. And that is also an everyday price without a coupon. And of course, there's nothing sponsored here, so I'm doing this all on my own. And that would equal out to 0.23 cents per ounce. Um, so the difference between the Auntie An Auntie Anne's, I keep doing that, Auntie Anne's and the Meyer brand, just the store brand, is a dollar sixty. And of course, this is all without tax. This is just what it is before tax. So there's a whole dollar sixty between the two boxes. But you also have to kind of look at, you know, you're losing one entire pretzel. But you have more ounces with the Auntie Anne's classic pretzels. With the Meyer brand, you are getting less ounces, more number of pretzels, um, but no butter. So, you know, it just kind of depends on what your preference is. Obviously, you can get your own butter and melt some and put these uh, put these on the pretzels, um, but yeah it just yeah what's is it really worth the dollar sixty more to get one more pretzel when you already have the salt in the package that you get from the Meyer brand or is it you know i I don't know if it's if the difference is 
a, you know, a dollar sixty. It's a lot in my book right now. Um, but is it worth getting the name brand? And that's always an argument. People keep saying, well, a name brand is better than, you know, a store brand. And I agree in certain cases. Like, for example, I will never, ever get a store brand of Cheetos. Nope. Cheetos or Cheetos or Cheetos or Cheetos. I will not get anything else but the original Cheetos from Frito-Lay. Nothing else. New store brand. But, you know, like, I love Oreo cookies, as you can tell. Um, but, you know, I don't mind getting the off-brand. Saves a few dollars, and they're, they are pretty much the same thing. Most of the time, because I've worked in grocery stores, you find that this is actually from the same big brands. They're just making them on an off-label. Um, and there may not actually be any differences between the two types of product. Sometimes there really is. So what I did for this setup is, um, I don't know if you can, if you can see this. I don't want to knock it over. Okay. So there is pretzel number one and pretzel number two. Now, I don't know which one is which, so I'm going to be doing a blind taste test. And then I had someone write the answers on these little cards. And yeah, um, they're scrap paper, so we reuse things here um, that has which one is which. So just looking at these pretzels here, you can already see a difference. This one looks a little plumper. This one's a little thinner. Um, they have a, you know, I tried to get it as equal as possible as the amount of salt on there. And I did divide the butter up for both. So, um, yeah, so pretzel, pretzel number one, pretzel number two. I'm going to try these and let you know my honest opinion of them. So I've never done this before. So this will be fun. So I'm just going to. Pretzel number one. Take a break. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is good. <laughs> I need to take a smaller bite next time. Um, that is a really good pretzel. That has... A little little bit of sweetness to it it's very you know buttery you can taste the butter that I put on it but it tastes like it's very buttery on the inside clearing my palate with my cute cup my little my little turf is my mother a dragon's cup not a sponsor I just really like it it's um it tastes very comforting. It really does. It's like a, it's a, definitely a soft pretzel, It, but it has just a little hint of sweetness in it. Um, it doesn't taste over doughy. It doesn't taste over done. Um, so they're, like I said, they're both prepared the same way. I, I forgot to tell you guys, I prepared them. They're both in the oven. So uh, the recommended time and the recommended temperature for both of these was identical. Um, so I cooked them the exact same way in the oven at 425 degrees for seven minutes. And um, so, and prepared them in the exact identical way. Like I said, I tried to get as much, um, an equal amount of salt on both of those, but it's, it's kind of hard. But I really like this one. It is um, very, it's very nice. It's just very, very comforting and it's lovely. I, I like the flavor. Um, I, I kind of left it sitting for like two minutes. So it's um, cooled off quite a bit, which is fine. Um, I don't like microwaving these. You, you do have instructions where you can microwave these. I'm trying to clear my palate a bit. So I'm giving myself a little time. Um, I don't like microwaving uh, frozen pretzels because I, I think it dries them out. I'd much rather put them in the oven and wait the seven or eight minutes. So my thoughts on pretzel number one. 
it actually tastes really, really good. Uh, it's got a hint of sweetness, not overbearing, but it tastes, this is how I like to say it. It tastes homemade. It tastes like somebody put time into it. It tastes like the homemade pretzels that I wish I could make. I'm really bad at it. I don't know why, but, um, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good pretzel. So that's pretzel number one. And as you can see, it's upside down now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretzel number one, pretzel number two. So I'm gonna take a similar bite and pretzel number two, so I ate the side. Ooh, we're hungry. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You might see my cat. Sorry. So, pretzel number two. I'm just going to ignore that that happened. <laughs> he just knocked over the whole thing over here. Pretzel number two isn't bad either. It tastes like, actually, it, it, if you heard it, it's a little more crunchy than the first one. But it tastes like a regular pretzel, like a hard pretzel, which is interesting. It's not, it's not bad at all. Hold on. But there's not a lot of flavor. It's a little more plain. Like if you have just like a plain bag of regular hard pretzels, um, you'll, that's my puppy, you'll see or you'll taste, um, I don't know, it, it just tastes a certain way, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. You don't necessarily expect a lot of flavor when you have a hard pretzel or a hard pretzel. Um, so you, this, I don't know. It just, it tastes exactly like a hard pretzel, but maybe even with a little less flavoring in it, it's not bad. Um, hold on. Try the first one again. <laughs> so I didn't want some. Mm. See? The first one has a more robust flavor to it. I, I actually like the little sweetness in this. I have animals all over the place. I'm sorry. It's interesting. Um, neither one of them are bad. Um, I probably would buy either one of them again. Um, the difference is... Number two, like I, I'm trying to explain it, that it just doesn't have that robust homemade taste to it where number one does. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad. If you like just the hard plain pretzels, I think you would really, really like pretzel number two because it, it really does taste like a hard pretzel. but not a lot of flavor. So I don't like melty cheese, really. I like, I like queso dips, but like the nacho melty cheese, I don't really like it, but I do like cream cheese. I put cream cheese on pretzels. Um, if I were to eat these, um, you know, I went, say I'll go to a movie or something and they're selling both of these. If I got number two, I would get either cream cheese or even mustard to go with this. Number one, I would just eat it on its own. This needs something. It needs something with it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, if you are craving a pretzel that you want to dip, you know, a lot of people like to dip their stuff into something, then you probably would want to go with this one. This is probably a more dippable pretzel. If you just want that homemade style taste, um, maybe even a little bit more comforting, something that you have tasted from a homemade situation that went well, <laughs> definitely not mine, I would go for number one. So if I had to pick out of the two of them, which I liked the best, I would definitely say number one. Um, but again, number two is not bad at all. Not bad at all. So 
you know, um, I, I just prefer number one. So we're going to find out what is what. I would do a drum roll, but all the noise that's been happening here is going to, you know, make it a little worse. So I'm going to take these two pieces of paper and go mix them up. It doesn't matter really, but I care for number one. Number two is not bad either. All right, so we're just going to go with this one here. And number number one is Auntie M. I think it meant we all do it, Auntie Anne. So number one is Auntie Anne's pretzel, and number two is the store brand pretzel. So, yay. So, like I said, both of them are really good. Now, knowing what is what, um, I don't think you're really paying for a name. You're paying for a quality of pretzel because I could tell the difference. Um, if you want a big quantity of pretzels and like I said, if you like dippable pretzels or if you prefer more of a hard pretzel taste, I'm totally ignoring my baby. I'm sorry. Mwah! If you prefer those, she wants some pretzel people and she'll get some because she's, she's awesome. If you like the dippable pretzels or if you like the taste of a hard pretzel, you are definitely going to prefer number one or number two. You're, oh you're going to like the store. And just the Meyer brand. I can't speak for other store brands. This is just the Meyer brand that I picked out. Um, but like I said, they're both really good pretzels. I would buy either one of them and be happy. Uh, if I happen to have a little bit more money in my budget, I would definitely get the Auntie Anne's instead. But nothing wrong with the other one either. So in the long run, in the battle between store brand and uh off or a regular brand in the pretzel world between two things i i don't really think that it matters matters that much because i don't think if i wasn't tasting them side by side i would miss the taste of the auntie ann's pretzel because i didn't know i had but i really I prefer it, but, you know, like I said, it's not such a big difference that I would not get either one of them again. I hope that helps you. Maybe not, but if you have your opinions on soft pretzels, drop them in the comments. Let me know what you like to put on your pretzels. Do you put anything weird on there? Do you put ketchup? Do you put relish? Do you put hot sauce? Let me know. I want to know because I might try them. I really might. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in today. No, I've eaten too many pretzels. <laughs> I'm sorry about all the noise from the animals. This always happens. Um, but I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And I hope you, that you like and subscribe. And every day that you wake up is a gift. Use your time wisely. I hope you all are having a good time and I will talk to you later. Bye.